Hi everybody and welcome to my PlayStation 2 to HDMI adapter review and setup video. I bought this nifty gadget online and it enables me to now use my HDMI cable with my PlayStation 2 and it saves me having to use the traditional RCA cables. Let's check it out. So in the package itself you receive one PS2 to HDMI adapter, one USB power cable and a user manual. The adapter itself feels well built, it's quite compact as well. You've got the HDMI port on the back and that supports audio and video. There's a bit of confusion online on why there's a 3.5mm connector next to it, but that's there in case you want to connect another set of headphones or PC speakers to it. I'm only going to be using the HDMI port because that's why I need to get it connected to my TV. But it's nice to know I've got some additional functionality there if I needed it. There is a USB power input on the other side and then there's the PlayStation 2 AV port on the front. The setup itself is pretty straightforward. If you get your USB power cable, connect it to the front of your PlayStation 2's USB port. Um, the other side goes straight into the adapter and then the adapter goes into your PlayStation 2's AV port and your HDMI cable goes straight to the adapter. And then you can tuck the cable under the PlayStation 2 if you need to. And there we go. If you've already got your PlayStation 2 connected to your TV using the traditional RCA cables, then you need to change some settings in your, in your system configuration before you install the PS2 to HDMI adapter. Um, turn on your PlayStation 2 and make sure there's no game disc inside. Go to system configuration and then scroll down until you find component video out. Now, if yours has been selected as RGB, you need to change it so that it shows YCB forward slash PB CR forward slash PR. Once you've selected that, then you can turn your PlayStation 2 off and install the PS2 to HDMI adapter and your TV will find the adapter, no problem. Now, I can appreciate you may have bought this adapter because you, you don't want to use the RCA cables or you may have lost them or your TV doesn't support them. But in which case, what you'll need to do is continue to watch this video. So you've installed the PS2 to HDMI adapter into your console and no image is being displayed when you turn on the PlayStation. Don't worry, it's just a case of changing some settings in your menu and you'll be up and running. So, turn off your PlayStation 2 console and make sure there's no game disc inside. Once it's turned off, turn it back on and wait 15 seconds. I'm gonna turn mine on now. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then get your PlayStation game controller and press this sequence of buttons in the same time that I'm doing. So down and wait, X and wait, down, 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 X, left, X, and then wait a couple of seconds. And there we go. Your PS2 to HDMI adapter is now ready to use. We changed the menu. We changed the, we changed the settings in the menu uh, whilst we were flying blind there. Um, but you only need to do this setting change once. Unfortunately, the PlayStation 2 doesn't automatically detect uh, any video settings. So you need to change them manually. But now that we've done that, the PlayStation will remember these settings and you'll be ready to roll going forward. My overall experience with the adapter um, it, it's been good. Uh, I do believe the image looks clearer uh, and the frame rate appears to be a bit higher as well. So I hope you found this video useful and uh, if you did like it, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, please send me a message. I'll be happy to help. Thank you.